okay so now we are going to work on the dynamic language changing right so how we can change the language dynamically so for example we have this route which contain the here key of welcome right this one and now how we can uh, basically change this on the dynamic parameter so here we don't have any par parameter so we can pass this in the parameter like here or we can pass this uh, like uh, uh, here uh, like this language and something like this one right so how we can do this i will show you the both ways so it's depend upon you how you want to uh, structure your route so first i'm going to pass this using the route here like how for example you have an id or you have a parameter value here right so here i'm going to name this lang and here i'm going to get the language with the language and then here i'm going to check that uh, language language equal language and then i'm going to pass this language here right language okay basically you can directly use it here by i i i'm adding this into the variable because in the next um, step i'm going to change something right i want to set the default value that's why i did this okay and here we need the parameters so i'm going to type this en and get refresh and yes it's loading same as it's doing the previously and now i'm going to change here fr and see it boom it's changed change in the uh, french if i click on this english yes in the english click on this french french right so it's working perfectly so whatever parameter you will set here so this will work based on this if you will enter en so this will work as en right if you will add the french it will work as a french okay fine you can add this here and then execute add your other uh, route so by mentioning this same here like you want to add the welcome slash post slash create so you can add this um, uh, add this fr like this right this is the one way of doing this to accept this in the parameter but you can also accept this in the different way like if i go here and copy this out i'm going to comment this out and testing everything here i'm not now going to not going to accept this like this i'm going to just get this from the request so here what i'm going to do this i'm going to remove this one add the slash then question mark and then here i'm going to type this um, lang or you can put the full name like language equal en and then hit enter so this will say that not found i will show you that how you can uh, skip, uh, load this out okay we have a slash route right which contain language equal en and here we need to accept this out we need to uh, call the request http request which is uh, built in uh, which is in the laravel and then i need to get its parameter so if this request contain the language then it's going to set the language all right uh, why it's not loading this out let me remove this slash yeah now it's loading this out right language equal english but why it's not before this why it's not working i think it's cached that's why it's not working let me also do it one more time translation app dot test slash question mark language equal en and yes it's working fine right okay now i'm accepting this parameter here and setting this out if i type this uh, fr french so it's also translating this into the french right so you learn that how you can change this with the parameter and then how you can add this uh, like here uh, in this uh, question mark then variable name and then its value right i think it's good way most of the websites follow this one right so i'm going to go with this syntax okay and here now for example if i go here and remove this out so what will happen so it's so uh, 
displaying welcome to the laravel 10 by career development lab right but if i comment this out and go with this one so it you will face an issue for example if i first type the en so this will work but if i remove its parameter so it wouldn't work not found right so in this way you can set it optional here right set this as optional refresh it says two uh, argument so you can also set this as null if it's not set let's get refresh and yes it's translating by default in the english so in this way you can uh, set here the parameter or you can translate it like this right okay i'm going to comment this out basically i want to show you this step maybe you confuse that how we can do this with the optional stuff so there is an optional to make the r route parameter optional this one is a question mark syntax okay uh, now we have slash and here i'm going to mention the language en it's working fine if i make this fr so it's also working fine you can also translate them from here and it's working awesome right hope you uh, learned a lot from this video and if you think that this video uh, this video added some value into your lives so you can support me on my mission to shoot the premium courses free of cost so subscribe the channel and share it with your friends also you can share your feedback here that how much valuable this series is so i'll meet you in the next one bye bye